grade 10 children. Welcome to another English lesson. This lesson focuses on unit 6 of your grade 10 textbook and we are going to practice writing. Today, let's practice parallel writing and learn how to write a simple description correctly. Let's start the lesson. Let's do activity 4 on page 55 of your textbook. In this activity, you have to read the paragraph on newspapers and write a similar paragraph on books. And you have to use the information given. Let's read the paragraph on newspapers first. Newspapers Newspapers contain news, information, entertainment and advertising. They are most often published daily or weekly. They give news as to what is happening around the world. Newspapers also express opinion about social and political problems through the editorial. They reflect public opinion as well. They arouse our consciousness on important matters and teach the citizens their rights and responsibilities. Here you have some information about books. Now read it and write a similar paragraph about books. You can keep the paragraph on newspapers as a model. Replace each piece of information about newspapers with the information about books. Let's do it together. Let's take the first sentence about newspapers. Newspapers contain news information, entertainment and advertising. Let's rewrite the sentence replacing information about newspapers with the information about books. So you can write books contain information, articles and stories. Let's see the second sentence now. They are most often published daily or weekly. Let's rewrite this one now. They are most often published any time according to the need. In the first sentence, they refers to newspapers, but in the second one, they refers to books. Now the next sentence. They give news as to what is happening around the world. What information is there about books? Yes, you have to write. They sometimes give information on what is happening around the society. Now the next one. They reflect public opinion. That is about the newspapers. What about the books? They reflect the opinion of the author. Okay, next we have. Newspapers also express opinion about social and political problems through the editorial. Now what about the books? Books sometimes express opinion about the social and political problems. So it's same for both. Okay, now the last sentence. They arouse our consciousness on important matters and teach the citizens their rights and responsibilities. Now let's write about books. They make us sensitive to certain issues in the society. Okay children, this is called parallel writing. You made use of the same sentence structures in the first paragraph about newspapers and replaced only the information in it. Let's read a paragraph on books now. Books contain information, articles and stories. They are most often published anytime according to the need. They sometimes give information on what is happening around the society. They reflect the opinion of the author. Books sometimes express opinion about social and political problems. They make us sensitive to certain issues in the society. Okay children, let's do another activity now. Look at this. 
Here you have a paragraph about Kalani's favorite book. Let's read it. Kalani's favorite book is Madolduva. It's written by Martin Vikramasinghe. It's a children's novel. Upali and Jinnah are the two main characters of the story. Upali is a boy who likes to be independent. He likes heroism and adventure. Although mischievous at first, he learns to be responsible later on. Jinnah is Upali's devoted friend and helper. Other characters include Podigamarala, a helpful farmer who allows the boys to work for him and teaches them farming. Kalani likes the book because it's exciting. Now you have information about Hiruni's favorite book. Now like in the earlier activity, make use of the paragraph about Kalani's favorite book as a guide and replace the information with what is given about Hiruni's favorite book. You can pause the video and do it now. Okay, let's check whether you have done it correctly. Here is the paragraph that I have written. Let's read it together. Hiruni's favorite book is The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. It's written by Mark Twain. It's a children's novel. Tom Sawyer, Aunt Polly, Huckleberry Finn are the main characters of the story. Tom is an energetic young boy whose constant search for fun and adventure leads him towards many dangers. Yet being brave and courageous, he overcomes them and becomes famous. Hiruni likes it because it's funny, exciting and interesting. I hope you could do it easily. Children, according to the structure of the O-level question paper, question 6 is a writing one using parallel or guided writing techniques. You can score 5 marks if you write it correctly. So let's attempt a question from a past paper. Here you have a paragraph on elephants. Read it and write a similar paragraph about penguins. Here you have information about penguins. So you can pause the video and write now. Okay, you can now compare with the paragraph that I have written. Let's read it. Penguins. Penguins are usually black and white. They can't fly, but they can swim very well. They have small wings and short legs but large feet. They live by the sea. They eat fish. Okay children, I hope you also could write like this. So make sure you attempt this type of question at the exam. Okay children, this is the end of today's lesson. Today we learned how to write a paragraph using the parallel writing technique. I hope it was useful. Our next lesson would be a reading one. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.